you know, we could do this all day. We've got animals everywhere in Missouri. But let's go look at the venom snakes real quick. Uh, we've got turtles in here, we've got iguanas in here, we've got scorpions, we've got leopard geckos, we've got copperheads, we have rattlesnakes, we have a hognose snake, we've got Burmese pythons, reticulated pythons, uh, red-tailed boas, and alligators. So we are at the Wildlife Command Center reptile room. This is a special room that we built out so that we could control the humidity and the temperature. Well, we're just checking out the roach colony because it crashed on us. There's supposed to be uh, one male for every seven females. Was there any great big ones yeah, at all? Yeah, there's real big ones. Okay. Oh yeah, I see some big ones. This is our hybrid roaches. These are Madagascar hissing cockroaches mixed with a dubia cockroach. The great thing about them is they're slow and they can't climb plastic. If you find a snake egg in your flower bed, how do you know if it's gonna hatch into a venomous snake? And the answer is no eggs hatch into venomous snakes in North America because all of the venomous snakes, oh, this one, this one uh, shed. So this is a little, little young copperhead that is not finished shedding yet. Ooh, watch that, it's gonna shed right in front of us. See it coming out of its skin? You don't get to see a copperhead shedding very often. So even as a, a baby like this, this is still a venomous snake? Shoot, the, the young ones are even worse. So here's the thing about venomous snakes. A lot of times a venomous snake may bite you out of fear, but you're not envenomated. In other words, they don't actually inject the venom in you because they're just trying to protect themselves. Young ones don't know the difference. And so when a young one bites you, you get envenomated and you get all of it. So an older venomous snake may bite you and you get what's called a dry bite. It's not an envenomation. But when a young one bites you, you're getting the whole nine yards. You're getting every bit of venom they have in them. There's one of our leopard geckos. Uh, this whole wall is copperheads I just missed. <laughs> yeah, those are all copperheads. Fair enough. Yeah. So. This whole rack right here are copperheads. Our female copperhead had seven young. So overnight, we went from one copperhead to eight. The wonderful thing about leopard geckos is if you can look at him right in the face, they will smile at you. Look at that cute little smile. Leopard geckos make excellent pets. Very easy to care for. They don't need additional UV lighting because they are a nocturnal creature. And they literally hunt like a cat. When he's on the hunt, he gets all tensed up. The end of his tail starts flicking like a cat does. And he pounces just like a cat. This is our Arizona Hairy Desert Scorpions. We use these guys for film movies, commercials. They're an ominous looking scorpion, but they're not super hot, which means their venom is not real toxic. However, they do hurt about like a red wasp. So this is Herman, our Russian tortoise, and he is quite famous. He's been in three productions now. He has three IMDB credits. So do you kind of do animal stuff? So, Wildlife Command Center Movie Animals is one of our divisions. And so we train birds of prey, hawks, and different things like that for the movies. It's way too much pine in here. Okay. Like, I thought these were hardwood chips. Do you know where the pine's coming from, by any chance? I bought a bag of uh, pine chips, but Corinne cleaned that out. I guess she used that for... Well, I mean... Can you yeah, smell it? Yeah, it's way, way, way too strong for reptiles. We use hardwood pellets because there's no resin in it and there's no turpentine. But somewhere along the line, some pine pellets got mixed in and you can smell the turpentine. And it's hard on the reptiles' kidneys. It will actually kill them. So Brian's going to change this out today. There's a couple of different subspecies of iguanas. All, all of these iguanas are um, rescues one way or another. 
his hemp penis had um, prolapsed. And so he was dragging his hemp penis behind him. It was all uh, crusty and stuff. So we took him to the vet, and the vet actually removed his hemp penis. So he is now sterile, but he's a boy, and he's a green iguana. They're strict vegetarians. And if you look at the difference between this one and that one, that one in there is a blue iguana, and this one is a green iguana. However, um, because of the pet trade, you never can tell what genetics or what location or region they come from. So the snake we have here is probably one of the most misunderstood snakes in Missouri. Uh, this snake is often killed unnecessarily because of misidentification. When you first look at it, people think it's a rattlesnake. In the wild, they actually hiss and they rattle their tail against the leaf litter and so they make a rattle. They have a triangular shaped head so people think they're venomous, which they wouldn't be wrong. This snake is actually venomous. However, it is the most docile snake ever. This is a western hognose snake. You can see why it's called a hognose snake. Yeah, it's got that little bump up It's a little nose, and that's made for digging because they dig up toads, toad frogs, and they eat them. Their fangs are located in the back of their jaws, okay? They're rear fanged snakes. And so when they get the, the toad in their mouth completely, the rear fangs inject the venom into the toad and paralyze it, and then they deflate the toad and then they swallow it if it was even possible to get one to bite you I, I don't know i mean we catch wild ones and just pick them up and handle them like this and they are just not prone to bite of course most snakes won't bite as long as you don't squeeze them you start grabbing a snake and squeezing it behind the neck like you see a lot of people do uh, then they then they're going to want to bite you but if you just let them crawl around on you this is pretty much what most wild snakes do However, if you don't know what kind of a snake you're dealing with, don't touch it. Stay away from it. Venomous snakes, uh, we have them because we use them on movie sets. And if you can hear that, you know that that's one of the rattlesnakes. This is a captive bred rattlesnake. She's very friendly. You can pet her if you want to get bit. This one over here came off of the set of Breaking Bad in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And when we got it, it was little. The copperhead that had young, she, is, she was one of our rescues. Of course, in theory, these two rattlesnakes, the Western Diamondback rattlesnakes from the, break, the set of Breaking Bad, um, they were wild caught. So the yellow one, or the yellow lemon colored one, that's an albino Western Diamondback. We have three of those. Um, we got a female in and she gave birth and so we've got two of her young that are adults now. There's a, a full shed and it's a complete shed so she, we don't have to have any problems. She is a red-tailed boa but she has a special gene and that gene makes her turn black. She has shed 15 times now since she was born and she has almost completely lost her pattern. So red tail bows are pretty common in the pet trade. IMG has just recently been a genetic, a, a gene that they're breeding for specifically, um, probably the last seven years or so. And they're, they turn into a beautiful snake because they're this glossy, glistening black, iridescent black color whenever they're adults. She's a, a juvenile, but I like her the best. So this is the color pattern of a normal red tail boa that does not have the IMG or the increasing melon gene. Are you able to, what's this rattlesnake here? It looks like picturesque for a rattlesnake. Yeah, those are the ones that are real easy to handle. <laughs> <laughs> Super easy to handle. 
If you're gonna bare hand a rattlesnake, use this kind. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so we have just scratched the surface of all the reptiles that we have in this room back here. If there's a specific animal that you wanna see a video about, leave us a comment, we'll make a video just for you. So subscribe and then turn that notification bell on and give us a big thumbs up. And also, if you see one of these, you're already in trouble. Yeah, if you've seen it, it's too late. Yeah, if you see it, it's way too late. Oh,